gracious God, may the words made of my mouth, may the meditations of our hearts and our minds, our very spirits, may all of these be acceptable in your sight. O oh God, our rock and our redeemer. God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Well, this is saying. So I'm going to pour a little bit out on here. Okay. Maybe you can see that. Maybe not. It's not 100% sand. It's sand-ish. <laughs> because it's also pulverized and broken down rock and aggregates plus sand. Which, of course, is even smaller pieces of broken up rock. But it's more than that, too. Within this powder and within these pebbles, there are five, five very distinct particles added. And these are dicalcium silicate, tricalcium silicate, dicalcium aluminate, tricalcium aluminoferite, and, wait for it, <laughs> gypsum. This odd community of substances has tremendous, I would say, world-changing potential. But that potential is not realized. At least it is not yet. And why? Why is that potential not realized? Because this conglomeration of distinct individual particles does not, in fact, it will not unite. Not now, not later, not ever. At least if it's left to its own devices. You see, each particle is, or so it thinks, whole unto itself. Each does not need, nor does it think, that it wants to combine with any of these other particles. That's why it is so dusty. The scientific word for this inability to come together is inert. These are inert substances. Inert meaning unwilling to react. They're motionless. They're life. <coughs> the only thing holding this community together is the vase itself. Which, if the vase were not holding it together, the mixture would spill out as it just did all over everywhere, each particle going in its own direction. It would be a mistake, Scripture says, to build a house on such a sandy-ish mix as this. You just can't count on it. It's shifty. It doesn't last. It's not strong. It has no future, at least no positive future. It is not only a mistake to build a house on such a mix as this. It is also a mistake to build a life on it, a world on it, or hope. World Communion Sunday proclaims that if we are to build a life that we can count on, that is healthy, that's long-lasting and strong, one that has a beautiful, blessed future, we must not be like sand. We must learn to come together. We must learn to overcome our misperception that we are whole unto ourselves. That we don't need each other. What's more, we must learn to actually want, to desire to come together, to yearn for a creation of something better, bigger, stronger, more inclusive, more beautiful than just ourselves. Only then, only together, will we find our true strength. Only then will we be building, as Scripture encourages us to do so, a future on a rock. But how? How do we do that? We humans, it seems our entire world is notorious for not, for not being able to do exactly that. 
come together to build a better, more blessed future. Well, maybe this will help. Water. And prayer. So let us be in prayer.